This is Eugene Panrukovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba M645 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked laptop screen on a Toshiba Satellite M645 laptop computer. Okay, before we do anything, we want to make the laptop safe to work on, so we want to remove the battery. We flip the laptop over, we slide the two levers on the side of the battery out, and then we slide the battery out like so. And while we're on the bottom, we can show you where the model number for this laptop is. You can see it says Satellite M645, so that's what we're looking for. Okay, uh, just like with most laptops, you get to the screen by removing the plastic frame around the screen, the screen bezel. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove screws, four screws that are holding it on, and they're hidden by some plastic covers. So we're going to do that first, but before we start, we're going to go over the tools we need. Um, we need a um, X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw covers. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that are stuck. A PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size of the screwdriver. A smaller PH0 or PH00 is screwdriver and that's for smaller screws. We might not need this one. And also I have a flathead screwdriver just in case you need to, in case we need to pry anything off. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna remove the plastic covers off the screws off the screws and being careful not to rip them in the process. One and for the plastic covers I like to put them right next to the screws and I did rip this one off unfortunately so I like to put them next to the screws so that I don't lose them okay and I'll use the dull side to see if that works better okay so we take this one off and finally we take the last one off like so. A little bit clumsy today. Okay, so we take all the plastic covers off and then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws. One. Two. Three, almost there, and four. Okay, once we do that, we need to remove the plastic bezel that goes around the screen. And the way I like to do that is I have to put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start ripping it up. This particular one is coming off real easy, but sometimes it's not so simple. Sometimes you get stuck on a part, and if you get stuck on a part, go to a different part where it's easier, and then you can lift it up and remove it. Okay, so this one was unusually easy, so yours is probably not going to be this easy, so just take your time and work your way around the whole bezel. Sometimes you get stuck on the corners, so kind of lift up the corners and push it out one at a time. Lift it up and push it out, and now we usually get it. Okay, so once we remove the bezel, we remove the screen by removing the screws that are holding the screen from the side to the metal mounting bracket, and we need access to these screws. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. For this laptop, it is pretty easy. All you have to do is use your uh, fingertips kind of 
move the screen up from the rest of the screen assembly so you can access that bottom screw and just start removing it like so one and I use the PH1 screwdriver so then it's two And three. When you're doing this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. Okay, so do the same thing here. One. I lost that one. I'll find it. So be careful not to lose your screws. Two and three. All right. Once you remove all the screws, you gently start tilting the screen forward, and right away we see that the webcam cable has some adhesive that is attached to the back of the screen. Okay, we have two options. Option one is to remove the connector and take the webcam cable down with you. Option two is to carefully remove the adhesive from the back. So uh, I usually don't like to remove connectors, so I'm going to hold this cable tight and remove the adhesive and then we can see that it's coming down. And that was the wrong choice because I still can't put the screen down. So next what I'm going to do is use my fingernail to remove the connector and like so and then put it down and that works better. Okay, next what we want to do is remove the video cable connector from the back of the screen. There's some adhesive tape. We lift up this adhesive tape first, put it to the side, and usually there's some adhesive on the back of the connector, so we want to lift that up, like so, and it looks like there's some adhesive tape on top of the connection too, so we lift that up. Once we lift it up, all the adhesive, we just slide the connector out like so, and the screen is free. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put the connector back in. That's people sometimes have trouble with that. When you put it back in, make sure you feel two clicks. That means the connector is properly engaged. And also, there should not be a gap there should not be a gap in the seam between the connects between the two sides of the connection so pause the video here we go pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like that that it's the two sides are flush with each other okay so once you have the screen out Let's take a look at this screen. It's a 14 inch LED screen, uh, fairly commonly available. And let's see, the number that you need to look it up is N140B6. N140B6. And uh, make sure that the screen looks like this in the photo. This particular one has a glossy finish, as with most screens and the connector is on the bottom left as is the standard case. Okay, uh, we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen for sale and what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation and also we have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen that we ship you is not compatible, we'll ship you the right one at no cost. And the third thing is uh, we ship all over the world. So if you're not in the United States, uh, most likely you can, we can ship it to you and you can order through our shopping cart. Uh, to order the screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com. On the bottom, click buy a screen. 
and on the new page there will be a short form for you to fill out with your email and your laptop model and once you send that to us we'll email you back with the link to the right screen and then you can buy it online okay in addition to the screen we also sell the toolkit that all the tools that you need to uh, replace the screen and then you can buy it online at the same place from us when you buy your screen okay uh, when you get the screen in uh, connect the screen as I showed you and then make sure that the webcam cable is properly detached and then connect it to the connector here make sure you don't forget to uh, connect the webcam cable and make sure the connector is fully in then put the screen back up put the three screws back on each side then snap the screen bezel back on and put the four screws in afterward and you should be done and uh, that's it uh, once again my name is Eugene Henrikovich name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck